us precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him points in time that uh, we make we make certain points we, we uh, communicate certain things and today I would like to communicate to you uh, whatever is going on in your life that you that this seems to weight you down I encourage you today let it go let it go let whatever whatever weight whatever hindrance that hampers you let it go and realize that you have the ability to let it go because if we delight ourselves in the Lord he does give us the desires of our heart if we delight our, ourselves in the Lord he gives us ability he gives us power to uh, uh, break those chains in our life because it all starts God's already done the work he's waiting for all waiting for us he's waiting for us to make choices because our choices lead us to our destiny our choices lead us to where we're going to go and what we're going to do so we make the uh, best possible choices because our choices are like uh, and the things we do and say our choices they're like seeds that are planted and they produce a harvest so the things we do and say today probably will they will uh, months or years down the road will be reaping the harvest of what we yeah. sow today. That's right. So we want to just cut loose anything that's weighting us down, holding us back, and we want to be everything that God's called us to be and do everything Jesus wants us to. And last week I said, um, I was talking about uh, letting 
anger, wrath, bitterness go. Let letting things go and letting the Holy Spirit flow. And I encourage you this week. Let no Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty nine says, "Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers." And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all mal malice. Be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Be kind, tenderhearted to one another, forgiving even as Christ has forgiven you. Today, whatever anger, if we have anger, wrath, whatever we have that's holding us back, I encourage you today, let it go. Just let it go. Don't be weighted down. Don't be uh, weighted down. If you have a chain, it's connected to a car, it's connected to a chain, and you turn on that car and try to drive somewhere, you don't get where you want to go. Right? And if those things that have weighted us down in our life for years continue to weight us down, uh, whether it's anger, wrath, bitterness, insecurity, um, uh, 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 fear, whatever it is, let it go. I don't know everything that's going on in your life, but you do, and God does. And it's all about a relationship with Him, but we have to be willing. We have to be obedient, and we have to listen to Him when He's talking to us. And if He tells us certain things that we need to do, He's not doing it to be mean he's doing it for our own good because he's our heavenly father and we're his children right mm -hmm. and whom the lord chastens he, it's not that he hates us he loves us and he wants us to be in his son's image and that's jesus christ amen amen because he wants us to fulfill our purpose he wants us to fill our fulfill our destiny he wants us to let all the anger all the bitterness all the resentment all the the pain all the tragedy, all the heartache, he wants us to, to let it go. He just wants it to, us to let it go. Because that, that, that is what keeps us from the peace of God. Amen. And it's the peace of God that leads us and guides us. But if we're troubled and angry or depressed, and we've got our focus on everything that's going on in life, and we're not focused in on him, how can and we're not letting certain things go. Frustra we're not leaving it at the al altar. We're not leaving it at the cross. We're not going to operate in the peace that passes all understanding because it's the peace that leads us. It's the peace of God that guides us. And we want to be tuned like a radio with, I don't do they have antennas anymore? <laughs> okay. That little antenna down there that picks up, that little receiver and receives the signal we want to receive that signal mm -hmm. so we can hear what so we can hear and then we can have eyes to see and ears to hear what he's saying and what he's doing so we don't miss our miracle amen we don't miss uh opportunity we don't miss what the lord is trying to do because in the midst of the confusion in the midst of the pain of life we see everything going on it's easy to get delicious disillusioned it's easy to get angry it's easy to get frustrated that things aren't working out the way you want it to work or it's you could get uh yeah angry that that things are just oh so overwhelming sometimes that you're like you're about to bur burst a, a brain vessel you ever been there yes <laughs> okay so if you keep blowing up a balloon, what's the balloon going to do? It's going to pop, right? We don't, we don't want to pop. We want peace. Amen. And the only peace is, is how we get the peace is letting some air out. And let, letting those things that, uh, let those, letting those things that blow up our balloon, we, we got to let them out or we're going to pop. That's not going to be pretty. I just wanted to get that out in, uh, not in a religious kind of lingo, just ordinary. We the, let it go, let it go, let whatever it is go. 
to everyone here, whatever it is. Animosity, a fear, let it go. Because you don't have the spirit of fear. You have the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. Fearing what? Fearing people. You don't have to fear uh, what somebody's going to do to you. The fear of man, <laughs> Proverbs 25, 29. If you have your Bible, 25, Proverbs 25, 29. Or 29, 25. Sorry. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoso puts his trust in the Lord shall be safe. The fear of man brings a snare. Snare, but with those that put their trust in the Lord shall be safe. I want you to know that in the sermons I've been preaching, we walk in love, we walk in compassion. And when we're walking in love, we walk in compassion, we walk in the deep things of God, because the only way to know God is to know His love and to walk in love. Mm -hmm. And then when you walk in love and compassion, you have a deep revelation in Him, and you hear hear the deep things of God that even the educated don't know because they're thinking about their their career and their future and what's going on. I'm not saying that for everybody. I'm just saying that for certain instances. It's, a, it's how much compassion, how, how much heart you have. And with your heart, you love people and you, you are the hands of Christ. You love people because that's what Christ wants to do through you. And But... We talk about the love, and we love God. Why We love him, but then we have to learn to trust him, too. Mm -hmm. Trust him that he knows what's best. Even when he tells us to do something that we don't see, why, why should we do it? This make, doesn't make sense. Well, he's saying, I'm your heavenly father. I see the big picture. Walk in compassion. Walk in love. Let those things that hinder you, that hold you back, let that anger and that maybe you have about the situation or the people that are involved in this, let it go. Let it go because that holds the God back from moving in the situation. And this love, pray for those, bless those that curse you, pray for those that despitefully use you, and learn, let things go, and just trust God. Because the fear of man brings a snare, but they that trust the Lord shall be safe. You walk in love, you put on the new man Christ, you let all the wrath and the anger and the bitterness and the resentment and all the chains of things that have held you back in the past, you let them go and make a decision to let them go. The Holy Spirit, well, I can't let it go. I can't let it go, but I want to, but I can't. I want to tell you, if you have a desire, if you that's all you need is a desire to do something for God. If you have a desire and you reach out to him, he'll give you to the ability to do whatever you need to do. But you can't do it if you're holding on to things. You can't. You can progress somewhat because the God is merciful, merciful, and he's kind. He's compassionate. He's caring. He'll love you. He loves you just the way you are. He'll just, okay, okay, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. But then... Yeah. All, hell, all hell all hell, will break loose in your life and then then we'll see what kind of foundation you're living your life on and if there's those things are out of order I'm sure you could get them in order pretty quick or or you run you give up you think it's going to be better somewhere else no a tree grows where it's planted but if you keep transplanting a tree that's not healthy amen <laughs> unless you. the Lord transplants it and puts it where he wants it to be love god love others love yourself be compassionate be kind but today's sermon is let those things go so the holy spirit can flow let it go and you know what it is. it's not just wrath but it's anger there's certain things that it's you and god you and god in life and he knows you you know him i know you i know all of you but I don't know you like God knows you. And it's that relationship. And that and that's something that I get irritated with in church when leaders or people try to be the Holy Spirit and do what God needs to do. Amen? Amen. It's only something he can do. So I'm encouraging you, let him do it. And let th those things go. Hebrews chapter 12. 
Hebrews chapter 12, the fear of man brings a snare, but they that trust in the Lord shall be safe. How many here want to be safe in the arms of the Lord? Amen. You want it? It's yes. yours. <laughs> we got the love thing squared away last week, this way, this year, this, yeah, this year, this next 10 years, this <laughs> next 20 years. Love, trust, <laughs> faith, <laughs> faith, hope, love. Isn't that 1 Corinthians chapter 13? Mm -hmm. Faith, having faith, having hope, having faith, the greatest of these in love. So we're, ta we're talking about love and having hope and then having faith, faith, hope, tr is trust, trusting in God more than you trust in people to meet your need. Or uh, uh, the doctor, they can do some great things but it's the God that works through them to get you where you need to go and have your body feel as strong as it needs to be amen, amen. it all it's it all ends with God it's all about him and people people are are not our source God is our source and Hebrews chapter 12 Hebrews chapter 12 Hebrews Wherefore, seeing also we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay, us, lay aside. Let's lay aside. Right? Lay aside. Throw it away. Every sin that will uh, hold us back. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so does easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, the, despising his shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Let us lay, it, lay, lay aside every weight. When you're going through a hard time, when you're going through trials and situations and circumstances that seem overwhelming, use that as the opportunity to lay, lay aside every weight, to lay aside every hindrance. Don't bring, blame your problems on somebody else. You look at yourself. No matter maybe if the other person is to blame, be humble, be compassionate, be kind, be caring, be loving, and be humble and even use that as an opportunity to, what can I, how can I change in this circumstance, in this situation, and be a better person? Because in the end, God's the one that's in control. He's the one that lifts up. He's the one that puts down. So... I got to get to that place. I'm working on that love, that compassion. I'm going to tell you today, I'm not there yet. Paul wasn't even there, but he was pressing towards that call That's right. in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we have to continue to press on and press through and press forward and become more like Jesus and more and more trusting him with our lives because he wants to take you from one level to the next level. Or do you, does everyone just want to stay at this level? No. And just ride this wave. No. Well, we'll just yeah. go, and then we'll just let it softly take us ashore, and we'll just retire. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> ride off into the sunset. No, we're not ready to ride off into the sunset. No. We're ready to go. Okay, I'm riding. Oh, there's another one. Let's take the, an, another <laughs> wave. Let's go. Let's go higher. Let's, Amen. Let's, Amen. If we're going to be challenged, we might might as well take hold of that challenge and just mm -hmm. let it take us where where it wants us to go because we know that God is in control. Amen. 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 But we have to keep ourselves sharp and ready. <laughs> keep our surfboard waxed. Right? <laughs> so that's that's uh love God, love others, love yourself, trusting the Lord, and uh because the Bible says that vain is putting our hope in man. When we, he says, but blessed are the people that put their trust in, in, in the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yes. Hebrews 12, lay aside every weight, everything that would hinder us. Because we want, we want a lot to allow the Holy Spirit to continue his work in us. Uh, Psalms 1 12. The fear of man brings a snare, but they that trust in the Lord shall be safe. Everybody say, safe. Safe. I'm safe in the hands of the Lord. I'm safe. safe in the hands of the Lord. When I trust Him. When I trust Him. 
Psalms, uh, sometimes in, uh, the fear of man brings a snare, but they that trust in the Lord shall be safe. That's good news. Amen. Because uh, sometimes, do you do you worry sometimes? No, never. <laughs> do you wonder, all right, when's the next uh, club? When's the next club going to fall? Or when's the next, what's the, <laughs> hammer. Yeah, when's, when's the hammer going to fall? When's the next, uh, do you ever feel like that? Yes. Well, walk in love. You let the anger that resent, you let things go, you let it all go. He said, I'm going to trust you, Lord Jesus, and I'm going to draw strength from The only way you draw strength from him is through his word. So get in the word. Psalms 112, 7. 112, 7. Oh, we'll go to six. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Mm -hmm. You ever wonder, wonder when the hammer's going to fall and you're kind of worried about it? Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a crack in your armor. Mm -hmm. But maybe I got to draw a little bit closer to the Lord and trust him even more. Because the, the next verse says, He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. Well, he shall not be afraid of when an evil report comes or bad news. Why? Because his heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. I want to tell you today, let's have our heart fixed and trusting in the Lord. Let's lay aside every weight that would hinder us and hold us, hold us back. And the sins of worry and whatever sin it is, let it go. And grab hold of Jesus and trust him with and trust God with everything you have. 